This is not a conflict. This is not clashes. This is an army working with a militarized population of settlers, subjugating and oppressing Palestinians. I think portraying what's happening as an equal battle between Israelis and Palestinians takes away from the um, actual calculated governmental efforts to ethnically cleanse this neighborhood and to ethnically cleanse this entire country. I think Western media that uses words like clashes and conflict to describe colonialism, to describe military occupation, to describe power dynamics that are so um, drastically desperate is unprofessional and it lacks any journalistic integrity. In the past 10 days we have seen police brutality like we've not seen before in this neighborhood. The street is essentially blockaded, we're not allowed in, even those of us whose IDs say we live here have to kind of sneak into our own homes. Um, we're not allowed to go to the store, we're not allowed to go anywhere. In addition to that, Israeli settlers and the Israeli occupation forces have been invading our homes for the past week, throwing rubber-coated bullets, sound bombs, tear gas inside our homes. Settler organizations in order for the Israeli state to over. So the situation for your family is in right now. Do you support the protests, uh, the violent protests that have erupted in solidarity with you and, and, and other families in your position right now? Do you support um, the violent dispossession of me and my family? I felt like that was a crazy question. I felt like that was a manipulative question. And I felt like Palestinians historically and systemically are put in a place that manufactures their consent, that um, makes them out to be the villains when the facts on the ground are the opposite of that. I think it's super sinister on, the, on mass media's part to enable such a dynamic when, the, when it's so desperate from the truth. Palestinians everywhere are getting brutalized and subjugated by the Israeli occupation authorities. Um, this has happened since 1948, but especially in the past few weeks, since the Sheikh Jarrah community has decided to start protesting the efforts of ethnic cleansing at the hands of Israeli settler organizations and the government.